Hello class, my name is Michael Angelo Wang, but you can call me Mikey Wang. <laughs> it is funny because Wang means enough! You're gonna respect me and you're gonna like it. At any rate, today we're gonna learn about moles. What is a mole? Well, mole is an animal, but in chemistry, mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Ooh, what a large you suck. Number. Hey, no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Oh. Fine, you guys can teach yourselves. I don't deserve this. I graduated from Harvard College. High five. You know, this looks like a job for... Steven? Alright, he got it all wrong. It's not 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And that is a unit of physical quantity that describes the number of atomic entities that there are in 12 grams of carbon-12. Speak English! Basically, there's a certain number of atomic mass units in one atom, then there's the same number of grams in a mole of atoms. Dude, what are you talking about? So basically, if, if you look at the periodic table... What's a periodic table? Shut up. And it says that, that for hydrogen, there's 1.01 atomic mass units in one atom. That's not really going to help you because you're usually going to have more than 1.01 atomic mass units. So say you have 1.01 grams of hydrogen, which is more realistic. How many atoms are you going to have? Josh? Um, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms? Correct. You're going to have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, or one mole. So, if you have 10 grams of hydrogen, then how many atoms are you going to have? Or how many moles of atoms are you going to have? James? Oh, um, um... 10 moles? That's correct. You're going to have 10 moles, or 10 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, let's go on to the next section. So now that you know how to convert from grams to moles, let's look at a practical application. One of the ways to make water is to mix hydrogen with oxygen. So that's the equation. Let's say you have 15 grams of oxygen and an unlimited amount of hydrogen. How many grams of water are you going to get? So, first you're going to convert that to moles. Then you're going to convert the number of moles of hydrogen to moles of water using the coefficients. And then you'll convert the moles to grams because that's for grams. So, you start out with 15 grams of oxygen. Put that over one. Now you cancel out grams, put moles on the top, and you know that there's 32 grams per mole. The periodic table will say 16, but you have two of them because it's O2. Now that you have moles of oxygen, you have to convert it to moles of water. Now, if you look at the coefficients, there's nothing there, so it's a one. For every one mole of oxygen, there's two moles of water. So now that you have moles of water, you just have to convert it to grams. And if you uh, add it up on the periodic table, in one mole of water, there's 18 grams. So you just multiply that out, and that's your answer. Boring. Uh, no one asked your opinion. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done, but there's two more things I need to explain. There are molecules and formula units. So, Ooh, it says F you! Ha ha ha! I've had enough of your immature comments. I'm going to go with Professor Wang. <laughs> Josh, let's go. You know, they were really stupid anyway. I mean, a mole is an animal. <laughs> okay.